Hello, my name is Dr. Alexander Ansrud. I'm a cosmetic and reconstructive plastic surgeon. After completing my plastic surgery training at the University of Alberta, I spent extra time training in cosmetic and reconstructive breast surgery at the University of Brussels with the renowned surgeon Dr. Mustafa Hamdi. I've created this video series to help patients understand the changes that occur in the breast over time and how these can be treated with surgery. I hope you find these helpful. The youthful breast is characterized by a full upper pole. This provides what is commonly known as cleavage. The nipple areola complex is narrow and sits at the most projecting portion of the breast. Approximately 50% of the breast tissue sits above or at the breast fold. These are the characteristics that produce a youthful appearing breast. As women pass through puberty, there is a loss of the upper pole fullness of the breast. The nipple areola complex still remains at the most projecting portion of the breast and still remains narrow. And most of the breast tissue still sits at the region of the breast fold or slightly below. The changes that characterize the age differences or the changes in age from the very youthful breast to the breast of a woman who's past puberty is mainly the loss of upper pole fullness or cleavage. With ongoing aging, breastfeeding, or significant weight changes, the breast continues to change. There remains a loss of upper pole fullness that may increase. The nipple areola complex widens and drops. Often it drops below the most projecting portion of the breast. Finally, there is an increasing amount of breast tissue that drops below the breast fold itself. This gives the breast a droop as well as a reduced projection. So with aging, there are three changes that tend to happen with the breast and the breast tissue. First, there is a loss of upper pole fullness, as we see here. Second, there is a descent, as we see here, or drop of the nipple areola complex. Finally, there is a drop of the breast tissue itself. Each of the changes that occur with aging of the breast can be treated. They are each addressed or treated separately. Loss of upper pole fullness, which occurs early on, is treated with breast 
augmentation. Placement of a breast prosthesis underneath the chest wall can recreate the lost upper pole fullness. The drop of the nipple areola complex is treated with a breast lift or a mastopexy. Finally, the drop in the breast tissue itself is treated by removal of the very droopy orthotic breast tissue known as a breast reduction. These three treatments, breast augmentation, breast mastopexy or breast lift, and breast reduction can be used alone or in combination to treat one or all of these breast changes that occur with age. Let's review. Early on there is loss of upper pole fullness which leads to a loss of cleavage in the breast. This can be treated with a breast augmentation. With time, there is drop of the nipple areola complex and enlargement of the nipple areola complex, which can be treated with a breast lift or mastopexy. Finally, there is a drop of the actual breast tissue or breast gland. This can be treated with a breast reduction.